Let's learn how to do the knockout method in Silhouette Studio today. Hey guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day. I have a quick tutorial for you today on learning how to make a knockout design in Silhouette Studio. The supplies you will need are your computer, Silhouette Studio software, your choice of two colors of vinyl, whether it's 631, 651, or HTV, your choice of material to put the vinyl on. Now let's get to the design part. Now I have a customer that is wanting a shirt for her donor that says Drama Queen and she wants a crown into the words. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm choosing the text tool and I'm using impact font because that's a really bold, thick font that works well with knockout designs. So I'm going to type the word drama queen in caps. I'm gonna move over the queen part. Now I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna resize. Okay, now I don't want the two words this far apart, so I want to go down to the line spacing and I want to pull it up some. I don't want the letters touching, but I want them together as close as possible. Now I'm going to go to the fill color and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with pink. I'm going to go to line color and do no line color. Okay, so now I'm going to, I already have this crown here that I'm going to use. You will take your image that you want to knock out of your words. You'll take it, trace it, get it ready to go. So as you can see, the crown, is in, the crown is in the back, so I'm going to right click, bring to the front. This is the tricky part. You just kind of want to play around with your image so that you can get the maximum uh, part of your image into your wording. So this looks pretty good. It's not too big, it's not too small. Now what I'm going to do before I knock it out is I'm going to select everything. I'm going to duplicate and then I'm just going to move that the duplicate over out of the way. Now I'm going to go back to the mat and I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go to modify window and I'm going to use crop. Now as you can see what it did is it cropped out words out of the crown. Now there's a bunch of tiny boxes because some of the crown did not make it, so we're going to right click and we're going to group. Now let's move this crown out of the way. Now let's select our duplicate. Make sure you move everything in. Don't move anything so that everything is placed right. Okay, now with the modify window up, we're going to click subtract this time. This time it's going to take the crown out of the wording. Okay, now you see that the crown has been taken out of the wording. We have a bunch of little boxes because it's not grouped together because there's pieces that were cut out. We're going to right click and we're going to group. Now we're going to go to our crown and we're going to bring it up. We're going to have to right click and bring our image back to the front. And you may need to zoom in really close depending on how big your image is and make sure that it all lines up and there's no, you know, like blank spaces. Now that is perfect. Now, as you can see, Drama Queen is in the um, pink. But we cut the crown out of the words as well. So part of the R, A, M, the, and the two E's and the U have the crown image. The crown image is going to be black and the drama queen is going to be pink. Okay, so now we need to cut this out. So what do we do? We have two different colors. Not a problem. Move this down just a little bit. And I'm going to go over to the left hand side to draw a rectangle. I'm just going to draw two. Well, I'm just going to draw one actually. One rectangle or square. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to duplicate. And I'm just going to move it over. Now I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go to align. And I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to align middle. I'm going to go to align middle. This makes them... A distance apart and it also makes them on the same line and they're even okay now I'm going to group those together and I'm going to color those the same color as the pink 
drama queen part. Now I'm going to right click duplicate these registration marks is what these are called and I'm going to make them black. Okay. Now before I group everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose all the pink, the drama queen part and the pink registration marks, right click and group. That way all the pink is grouped together. Now I'm going to take the black squares. I'm going to place them directly over the pink and you may need to zoom in here and make sure you get them exactly even so they're one on top of the other and now we're going to go back to regular size mat hold down the shift and i'm going to click the other black which is the crown and that has all the black selected so i'm going to right click and i'm going to choose group now the pink is grouped and the black is grouped together now for cut settings we're going to go over to cut settings and we're going to go to advanced and the first thing and the only thing that I want to cut first is the pink layer so what I did was I went to you'll see right here layer line color and fill color I'm going to go by the fill color and only the pink is checked so that means only the pink part of this design is going to cut Okay, then when I get done cutting that, I will unselect that and choose the black. And only the black will be cut. Once you have them um, cut out, you will take your images and you will obviously take your drama queen first. You will lay it down. Remember, you have the two pink registration marks. You will lay that down first. And then you will take your black and then you will place it you will take the make sure you take the registration marks and your black registration marks or your second color is going to lay directly on top of your first registration marks this way you get an accurate even knockout design these designs are extremely cute and you can do so many variations i hope that you enjoy this tutorial i hope that you make many creations using this knockout method and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, I would like to hear any suggestions of tutorials that you would like to see. Please leave those in the comments below. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, Our Crafty Chaotic Life. I greatly appreciate you watching our tutorials. Uh, feel free to share your creations on our Facebook page. And we will see you next time. Let's learn how to make a heartbeat line decal. Plus, I have a freebie for you in the description box below.